So hi, um, my name is Musa Miraza, and this is the presentation for PBL DAS 3. Let's get started. In this uh, presentation, we're going to be talking about what is reinforcement learning. Um, then we're going to be talking about what is Q-learning algorithm, um, and then what is taxi problem, and then uh, how Q-learning is implemented in the, in the problem to solve the problem. Then we're going to be talking about the card pull problem and the use of Q-learning in that too. And then lastly, we're going to be talking about, we're going to be comparing the performance of Q-learning in both of these problems. So to start with, what is, what is reinforcement learning? Reinforcement learning is a, is a science of decision-making where the agent learns the optimal behavior as it strives to obtain maximum rewards in an environment. It is based on state, action, reward, and penalties. As you can see on the diagram on, on, the, on the right, that agent, um, agent uh, goes into an environment, explores it, and then takes an action. And then um, once it, it takes an action, uh, the it receives a penalty or, or reward accordingly. What is Q-learning? So Q-learning is defined as, a, as a, so Q in the Q-learning is defined as the quality of action and, it, and its impact on gaining maximum rewards. So in, in Q-learning, uh, agent seeks to learn the policy that maximizes the total reward. Uh, it uses Q-table to perform action when exploiting or exploring and up, updates the table after each action. Q-learning follows the equation um, below. So what is, a, what is a taxi problem? In this problem, a passenger needs to be picked up and, and, um, and dropped off to the destination while the agent, the, the taxi, in, as, the, as the taxi uh, income uh, maximum rewards. In this problem, we have six sections. Um, so taxi can go north, um, south, east, west. Um, pick up and drop off. For each successful drop off, it receives 20 points. And each time it hits the wall or, or the trees, um, or it takes if or if it takes the wrong step, it will incur a negative one penalty. There's also the penalty for not dropping off at the right destination, and the penalty is negative 10. So how taxi problem is being solved at Q learning? So in, um, as we know in the Q-learning, there's a Q-table that we follow. So what happens is it explores the state of all the possible action and take the random steps. So this, is, this, this, is, this happens when the agent is learning. Um, so for, so when, when the agent um, receives, a, when, when an agent gets to an environment, uh, it explores all the possible actions and takes a random step. Based on that, based on the, uh, based on that action, it receives, um, it receives a reward or a penalty, which gets updated into the queue table. So once, uh, once the queue table is populated, um, it starts to, um, the, the agent um, starts to follow those, um, so uh, agent starts to, to take those actions um, that has the maximum value, which is, which is termed as exploiting. So let's compare, um, so let's compare the performance of the agent while it was uh, taking random steps and while it was taking the Q, Q learning, um, uh, the, the, the policy steps. Okay, so, to, uh, so, the, so we can see the average rewards per move um, in random agents is, is significantly lower, which is, uh, which, which, uh, which was expected. And then in the, as, as opposed to Q learning agents performance, which is uh, 0.69. Um, the average number of penalties per episode is 920.45, which is quite high. And as we expected, um, as, it, as it is taking random steps and there's no uh, storage, um, um, so there's no storage of the steps. So what's happening is, so what's happening is uh, it is making uh, wrong steps and it's, uh, it's getting a lot of uh, negative points, which, is, uh, which, is, which are the penalties. As, um, as opposed to Q, Q learning agents performance, which has received no uh, penalties at all. So average number of time steps per trip is 2,848.14, which is very, very high as compared to Q learning agents that knows, uh, that just follows the, um, the, the, the Q table and gets to the destination in, in quite a low um, amount of time. 
So what is a card problem? So card problem uh, in this in this problem agent the the card has to keep the pole upright as it moves left negative one and right plus one. It has four states four states. Uh, the, the card position, card velocity, pole angle, and pole angular velocity. So every step receives a plus one reward, and it terminates if the pole angle is greater than um, plus negative 12, or position greater than plus negative 24, or, or, or if the episodes uh, exceeds 200, because that's when it receives, that, that when it reaches the, um, the highest average reward. So what's the difference between a taxi problem and the car, uh, car problem? Um, as we know, a taxi problem has only got six actions and car problem has only got two actions. Number of observ observation parameters is only one. Um, and then and there are four observation parameters, um, car position, car velocity, pole angle, pole angular velocity. And the goal of taxi problem is to, is to perform a successful drop off while card problem needs to uh, keep the pole in the upright position. There's no penalty in taxi problem, uh, there's, there's penalty in taxi pro problem and there's no penalty in card pole problem. Okay, so let's compare the Q learning performance uh, in, in both, of the, both of the problems we discussed above. Um, average reward never reaches the maximum in taxi problem, um, even, even on the 5,000 5, episode we saw there was no, it, it wasn't it was in any way closer to the maximum reward. In the card pole problem, um, it reaches the maximum average reward at 400 episodes or around 400 episodes. The taxi problem um, average reward is not consistent as it ranges from zero to five. Um, whereas in the card problem study, study the VC has study increase in the, um, it's a steady increase in the average reward as the episode increases. Um, so th this is a, a, a pseudo code for Q-learning. Um, as you can see, we initialize the, the values, um, which obviously, so we can in we initialize that by with zero and zero for both a state and, and the action. And then as it, as it moves out, it starts with exploring the state. So it goes into environments and explores it first. So, <coughs> sorry, it, it explores the steps. So once we have uh, once it starts to receive the um, the the rewards slash penalties, it's, it starts to populate uh, them into those metrics in the queue table, and then once once the queue table is populated, it starts to uh, it starts to point to um, the, the exploitation state where weight weight is only following what's in the what's in the table and follows the highest value. Um, highest value uh, action, and it and it runs up until it, it reaches uh, its terminal. So yeah. So these are some of the references um, of of the resources that I've used uh, in this project. Um, so yeah, thank you so much.